Alright folks, this is your boy Bronx Reef of Brock with our last installment on how the powder blue tang and the cell fin tang were doing after the short ick outbreak. So, everything survived. Everything did very well. Um, our powder blue, our hero, has taken to the tank amazingly. Um, usually get that line on the side of them if they're not eating. This guy is eating quite a bit. Um, so I'm not sure what that is. But there's a little blemish there, here and there, from going through the ick process. He came out of it like a champ. He's getting along with the other fish. The sail fin. Never caught the ick at all. Also did very, very well. And so, I believe, this is just my opinion, that the success is due in part to the fact that, one, we have this guy. We have actually three of them. They helped ease the stress with the tangs in the tank. Um, no one caught an outbreak. No one had a problem. Also, I have a theory that the powder blues tend to do better when they're in a group of uh, a large group of fish in a school almost um, the other tangs that I've had over the years they've all gone through the quarantine process they've all been isolated they've all been fed well <clears throat> and they've all eventually broken out with ick and died um, so, you know, I've gone through all the steps, the copper treatments, everything that's, uh, you know, popular to do in a hobby in terms of the ick. Uh, and nothing worked. Uh, some things work better than others, but nothing is really foolproof. And I'm not saying that this is foolproof right now either, but I've gotten great success here with the fact that I've added this powder blue tang in a tank that was already filled with tangs. So I've almost pretty much got every uh, genus of tang in this tank. Everyone works together. There's plenty of food so there's no fighting. Uh, the other fish did not stress out. The powder blue did not stress out. I did not isolate him from uh, this tank. He was always in an acclimation box for maybe 24 hours or so. Uh, just to make sure he was eating. But other than that, he did very well. So I believe that they are more comfortable in a setting where there are other fish. And so that's one of the reasons why I did not isolate him and put him in a separate tank by himself. So I believe that's part of the success when it comes to these tanks. And again, none of my other fish came down with anything. Everyone has always worked together. Everyone is clean. Um, these guys have never had a problem. Well, this guy has really taken to the tank. Uh, he sees me, he knows the routine just like everyone else. When it's time to eat, it's time to eat. And they all gather together and uh, everyone has a job. Everyone kind of does their own thing, which is wonderful to see. So that was it. I'm going to say I'm going to chalk this one up to a success. And uh, I'm going to say we did okay with this one. So only time will tell. We'll see. That's my theory, folks, when it comes to the ick and the series on this uh, adding these two tanks to this tank. I think the more fish you have, the better success you'll have when it comes to a fish like the powder blue who's used to being in a, a school all right, that's my theory. Uh, do with it what you want. This is just my way of doing things. Uh, again, there's really uh, we can you know talk about it. We can share tips, uh, but this is what has worked for me so far. All right, so there it is, folks. Everything is still nice and colored up and fat and 
doing his thing. I love this tank. So, it's your boy Bronx Reefer Brock, signing out. See you guys later. Peace.